Hi everyone, Penta here. Today I'm excited to help you with some of the simplest tasks that many people struggle with. First, converting files to bytes. Second, correctly including external libraries like D3DX9. I'm a bit tired of seeing issues where users struggle with these basics. So I'm here to make it easier for you. I've developed a custom application to convert your files to bytes, and I'll also guide you through correctly including external libraries. Enjoy! Converting files to bytes. The first step is to allocate the icon, where it is initialized and defined. Then download the bytes converter, it's on my Discord server. You can find it in the downloads channel. Now there are two options to use it. First option is drag and drop, and it automatically converts it. Or the other option is just open it and select the file you want to convert and press convert. And now let's see what the Bytes Converter has done. It generated a file with a .h extension. This is our byte representation. Now copy the generated bytes and replace them with the loader ones. Now you are ready to compile to see your results. So this is the CS2 icon before we replace the bytes, and this is after we replaced our bytes. Correctly including external libraries like D3DX9. If you are facing errors like these, or even errors like this, it means you didn't include the libraries correctly, but it's easy to fix. Let me show you. Head over to my Discord again, download the DirectX zip, extract it somewhere where you won't forget it. For me, it's in my documents folder. Go into the Include folder and copy the path. Now right-click on the project and head over to Properties, then select VC++ Directories. Now where it says Include Directories, click on the arrow. Edit. Now click on the folder-looking icon to add a new line. Now paste the copied directory in there. Now as we included the includes, we also have to include the libraries. To do this, head back to the DirectX folder. Now select the lib folder. Now you can see there is one x86 and one x64. To figure out what bit type we need, we have to check what our project compiles in. As you can see for us, it's x64. So we select the x64 folder. So let's copy the path directory again. And now we have to do the same steps as before. But this time we click on the arrow of library directories creating a new line and pasting it in. Now apply and compile. As you can see, it has compiled successfully. Now you are ready to go. Like the video if you think it was helpful. Also, subscribe if you don't mind. Comment issues, I should explain to you on how to fix these. Love y'all.